Hey there, After Effects buddies. Let's take a look at this fun little animation. Oi, hello, oh, boom. Okay, so we've got a few elements here. We've got the original footage, piece of stock footage, and I've also got an explosion piece of stock footage, which is pre-keyed, and a little prairie dog. There we go, okay. So, what I need to do is, first of all, I want, when the ball goes over the hill, I want the ball to disappear. I don't want to see it going onto the green. Okay, so, what I've done, and just to, there's a little bit of shake on this original footage. So, what I've done is I've added the warp stabilizer effect. I won't do that now uh, because... Uh, it takes a minute or two to analyze so I've already analyzed this before the tutorial So I've just added that and it's a tiny amount of shake you can see that it's just auto scaled it up by 0.4 of a percent so um, Not a great deal of shake, but just helps when we composite it together that the clip doesn't move about All right, so I'm just going to duplicate this layer Command D and I just want to freeze a frame Oops Do it I want to freeze a frame as my mouse there going haywire where the green doesn't have the ball now if I do this freeze frame I'll get an error message because of the warp stabilizer so as is often the case with After Effects I can fix this by pre-composing the layer okay and I'll, I'll call this green I'll choose the second option there and then if I do a time freeze frame we're fine all right so I can now take this I can just do a mask around the green that's all I really need that's our layer okay I might just feather that out a little bit always helps it blend in slightly just a tiny bit okay and just so that now when the ball goes into that layer there you go disappears so I just need to so I just need to extend that out slightly make sure we lose the ball There we go, it's gone. Woo. Okay, so now I've got this gopher image, this prairie dog. Here, drop that chap in. Okay, and then I can scale. It's going down. Something like that. He's going to pop up kind of where the ball hits about there okay so we can do a, a position keyframe so I'll just add a keyframe here come forward move him down a little okay just hide in there just give him a little, little bit of time after the ball hits frames so the ball's going to go a bit longer my like easy ease those keyframes make it look a bit more natural it's quite fast anyway so it's hard to tell a little slower okay so obviously we need to hide this chap so again I'm just going to take the bottom layer duplicate that I'll pre-compose it. In fact, I don't even need to because uh, this is fine. You don't need to freeze frame it. So I'm just going to drop that under here and use a mask tool to just do a nice little mask around here. Hide our 
little friend. Yeah, drop that on top. So we've now got, there we go, it now just pops up. Okay, so I'm going to make that a little later. All right, and maybe a tiny bit slower. Okay, I'm looking. Then I'm going to add a ball. So I'm going to use my ellipse tool, set my fill to white, draw a tiny little ball. Okay, I'm just going to, as I always like to do, center the anchor point and layer content. Let's make this big and move it into here. Might make that a tiny bit smaller. Something like that. Let's see how that looks. Yeah. I'm going to pair with that to the prairie dog layer. Drop that underneath. So he's going to pop up now with this golf ball in his hand. So from here, I can add a keyframe. I can come to, to here, a few frames forward. Put the ball at the feet. Draw a path. Okay, let's have it start there. Again, I can take this first keyframe, I'll easy ease that, and then add some motion blur to the ball. And there we go, I'll add some to the golfer too. And then just finally, just take my explosion, drop that on him. Let's see where that takes place. Move that along. There we are. So where the ball hits here, we've got our explosion starting. Boom. And that is the end of Mr. Golfer. Take that. Okay. Thanks, After Effects folks. Happy golfing.